almost done with the left border. So now we're up to LS12 and it is a modified block. So we're going to go through the booklet and I've got my pieces numbered because it was the easiest way to get them back to where they were after block prep. And this says top border again, so I change it to left because it is in the left border pack. So this is an accurate left border 12 triangle. So here we've got a bunch of uh, squares and just, you know, odds and end pieces to fill in from there. Uh, triangle 23, of course, will be basted. And then I'm going to assemble one of these sides. So 10 and 9 and 10 will have to be assembled into a square attached to 17. 11 and 18 will have to be attached to each other. 19 will then get attached to 11 and 18. And then this unit will get attached to this. So this will be one unit, but you got to do all these little bitties first. So that's for this. This is going to be the same kind of thing because this is a unit here, the same exact opposite unit. And then there's four squares. But if you look at this line here, it goes all the way up to there. So I have to have these all attached to each other before putting on number five. Same thing here with number six. It goes up to there. So I will most likely do these individual units and then a four square unit. And then I can attach these as I go down. But it's not a direct row assembly. So you basically got to make sure that the line that you want to attach, if you want to attach piece number five, all of the pieces it touches need to already be connected together. So you can put on five if you got all this connected, six you can, if you got this connected. Six cannot go on to three and four until three and four are connected because the line crosses both of them. Four can go on to five alone if you want but two can only be connected once four and five are together. So I know it, sound, it's, it seems a little complicated, but just break it down on a unit. So this unit, this unit, this, this, and then we'll one at a time add these to the tip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna baste my number 23 triangle, and I will go across the top here first so that my tags end up going towards the outside and my squares will be basted opposite sides, opposite sides. And what I do like to do, as in other videos, if I start with this side first and then do that side on this square, I will do the opposite on this square. So I'll do this side first and this side as it allows, because I'm obviously not going to be able to make both of these happy in under that rule because they're diagonally across from each other. So to the best of my ability, I'll try to minimize the folds in each one of these seams. So I'm going to base this and then I'll start assembling one of these two side units. So I got my number 23 triangle basted. I did this and then these and that's why my tags are going out. Over here I've got my units for this section. I did this one first and then this and then I did the side so that my tags are going to be relatively out of play. Here I did opposite sides on the, this, si this side and then I did these. Here I did this side and this side and then the longs. This I did opposite of that so I did this first here so I did this first here. These I did this side, this side, and this side. This one has four sides so I did this one first then these and then the long side so that I get my tags out of this seam particularly. So let me assemble the 9 and 10 together and then the 11 and the 18 together so then I can uh, assemble the rest of that whole unit. So I got my 9 and 10 unit together and my 11 and 18 unit together. So I'm going to add my 19 to this unit and my 17 to this unit. So I've got my 19 attached to my 11 and 8 unit and my 17 is attached to my 10 and 9 unit. So now I'm going to connect those to finish off this unit altogether. So I've assembled this whole unit and this is what it looks like on the front. I have a very directional 
uh, focus fabric, so I have to make sure that this white square is in the same direction on everything. So that's been, it was a little tricky. But um, now I'm going to attach this to here. So I've connected the unit to my 23, my number 23 triangle. And so we got this. I'm going to put this aside. And now I'm going to work on this exact same unit on the other side. So the first thing I will do is put 21 together with 15 and 13 and 14 together. So I can then assemble them for there. So I got my pieces basted and I've got 21 and 15 connected and 13 and 14 connected. Now I'm going to attach number 20 to my 13, 14 unit and number 22 to my 21, 15 unit. So I've got my pieces attached. I got three pieces on each section. So now I'm going to connect them to finalize this unit. So I've assembled my unit for the side. And so I'm going to go back over here to my other stuff and I'm going to attach this here, making sure that I line up this edge with the top of the triangle and that this point meets that exactly. So I've attached this other unit. So right now I have all of this assembled and this is what it should look like. So now we're going to look at the rest of this. So I've got all of this section done. And right now we're going to look at 8, 16, 12, and 7, which are these four. So I will baste and attach these into a, a cube. So I got my squares basted and paired up together. I did opposing basting. I basted on this side for this one first. And on this one I did the opposite side or the, the different side so that it wasn't as much fabric in here. And the same thing over here. Now, if you put them together like this, you're going to have that up there and it's not going to be right. So it's really easy to get this mixed up. So make sure that you put a square that's different fabric than these two on the top section first. So that way you're putting this together correctly because I put it together wrong the first time I had to rip it out and redo it. So um, make sure you get that right. So I'm going to put these together so then I can assemble it into that section. So I got my four squares put together and this time I got them in the right order. So we're going to flip this over and one of the tricks, make sure I got this the right direction. One of the weird things about this particular placement is it's not on this edge. This is the four pieces. You're on this edge. So I've got this section here. So you're going to line up the side of the square with this angle here on each side because then you've got these pieces that come in later. So it's not it's not an expected kind of lineup. And then you want to make sure that your intersections are matching exactly here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this. So I got my center unit assembled into the other and this is what you should have. So I'm going to set this aside. Well, no, actually. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add number five. So I got this. I'm going to baste this first. No, I'm going to baste this first, then this, and then I'll do these two. And then I will attach this to here because this way I can fill in this whole seam right here and then I'll be able to put on number six as well. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one you do first, but I'm going to start with number five. So I've attached my number five piece. I basted this side first and then this one, this one, and then that one was last. And um, I got, I've gotten this lined up as best I could. And this is lined up here. So the next thing I'm going to do, whoops, is attach my number six piece, which is going to be here all the way up to that particular corner. 
So I will baste this, I will baste this one first, then this, then that, and then I will attach it to the rest of the assembly. So I've attached my number six piece, and this is what you should have. It's not quite even. This is an even line here, but this has got this little flat edge on this side. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my number four and number three, which is going to cover this edge of the number six. I'm going to take number four and number three and put them together, and then I'll be able to attach it to number six. So there's one and two, and I'm going to baste this like that first. Oh, no, actually, yeah, I am. I'm going to baste this first. I'm just going to go around so that my tag should be able to at least line up decently. But so yeah, I'm gonna base these and then attach them together. So I've got my pieces basted and attached. This one, I did this little short side first and then this one, that one, and that one. And these, I did this side first. So I'm gonna put this into here, making sure I line up number three with the number six angle to keep my my side of my triangle consistent and I'll get that attached. So I've attached my number four and three unit to the rest of my assembly and this is what you should look like at this point. Now I've got two options at this point. I have two pieces. I can either put the two pieces together on this seam here and then attach it all at once, or I can attach number two to the five and four section and then number one. I'm gonna do number two and then number one separately, but you can do whatever you would like. I'm gonna base this first, then this and this, and then attach this to my section right here. So I've got number two attached. Now the only thing left to do is to base and attach number one and I'm gonna base these short sides first and then the long sides. I finished attaching the number one piece to the tip and now my LS12 triangle has been completed.